Okay, hello everyone and welcome back to Dark Souls PvP. Dark Souls 2 PvP, I should say. The Scholar of the First Sin update, patch, whatever, just got released yesterday. And it's time to answer the question for the ages. Has the Ice Rapier actually changed anything? Here I have it. This is an Ice Rapier. I, ju I just upgraded it to plus 5 and infused it with Fire Sins. This is my Pyromancer character, who as you can see is Dragon. Let's check it out. Huh. I don't think anything's changed. Let's see. Physical attack. Counter strength. The counter strength is still 140. Still has bleed. Still has fire. Holy shit. Alright. Well. Doesn't use any more stamina. How about durability? Seems about the same. Oh shit, let's go into PvP. I know this is gonna be awful. I normally don't use this weapon. I, there are two types of people that generally like um, play PvP. There are people who say that you should just be able to use anything you want and it doesn't matter what weapon you use, you can still win against it if you're a good player. And there are do those who say like there are a bunch of overpowered uh, items in this game. I tend to fall somewhere in the middle I do think that you should be able to like use whatever you want in PvP. I mean, this game isn't like Street Fighter, Mortal Kombat. It's not a fighting the fighting game. You cannot expect everything to be balanced. But then again, you cannot deny and no one can deny that there are combinations of weapons or types of weapons which are more powerful than others. Case in point, the Ice Rapier. So yeah, like I said, I tend to fall somewhere in the middle saying that, yeah, well, you should be able to um, use whatever you want, saying that nothing is overpowered and everything is balanced, it's kind of false. So we're going to get started here, uh, try to get a couple of PvP matches. I'm probably going to make this episode a little shorter, because I think if I made a 30-minute PvP video of me using the Ice Rapier, I would probably, like, die because I hate this weapon. So yeah, we'll see how it goes. I'm going to start cutting the wait time and load time out between episodes. Oh, by the way, and I'm like not using any shield. Only have the dragon armor on. My rings, I might switch to the stone ring instead of the fire clutch. Yeah, actually, you know what? I might just do that. I like the stone ring a little bit more, especially since our poise is actually a bit more functional in this game now. Now that, not of this patch, I think the previous patch is the one that kind of fixed poise a little bit. So here we have our first duelist. Who, where the fuck is the stone ring? Oh, do I not have the stone ring on this character? Oh, I might not have it. Uh oh. I see immediate death in my future. Let's try and bow. He's using the fucking uh, pilgrim spontoon. But I know what he's gonna do, he's gonna... Oh, I think I've met this guy before. His... Just his equipment seems familiar. Alright, yep. Yeah. Well done. He has that fucking ultimate shield. Alright. Oh, yeah, he's going for it. I fucking hate when people do that. I cannot believe they still haven't, like, patched that shit. He's lagging a lot too because... Uh oh. Going for the scythe. That is brave. Okay, this weapon hasn't changed one bit. I just took like half of his, half of his HP off. Oh shit. Well done. Did he find an ult, like a uh, stun lock combo there with that? Huh. Well, interesting. But as you saw, <laughs> two hits and I took like half his HP off. So I think the Ice Rapier has not changed. Sad to report that, kind of. Anyways, um, I am actually kind of glad I died because I wanted to get out of Dragon form. Because I actually want to wear the Thief set instead of the Dragon Armor. So yeah, I'm just going to go ahead and equip that. Okay, match number two. Let's see who we have. 
Took a while to get a match too. I wonder how the low level PvP works in this game. Or how it is, what it's like. Oh, this guy's rank 3 as well. Fucking hell. Everyone rank 3 but me. Or, all, or only the rank 3s are playing today. Hey there. Let's see how you do against the Ice Rapier here. Buddy. Alright, he's using the straight sword. Good choice, actually. Or is that a straight, throw? straight sword? What weapon is that? I don't know. Huh. Oh, it might be the Varangian, isn't it? From what it looks like. Thank you. Thank you, Ice Rapier, for your ridiculous damage. I can, like, outrange him, too. Look at the length of this thing. It's like, holy shit. Yeah, trading with me is not gonna work. Oh, fuck. Damn, how is he this quick? I should have won that trade, though. It is not the Varangian, is it? Maybe it's the Hyde Knight? God damn, I thought I was winning that trade. How did he get... Uh, whatever, fuck it. I don't even care about winning, I just wanted to test this thing. I mean, this is more of an experiment. I keep meeting like rank 3s. Maybe I should warp somewhere else, like to the Iron Key Bridge, and use my cracked red eyes. Hmm. I'll try one more match here, and we'll see. Okay, let's see who this is gonna be. Another rank 3, maybe, maybe not. I'm gonna try playing not like an idiot for this match. I know I was just like fucking around. I could have won against him, I think. Unless he had like some tricks up his sleeve, because I don't think he got to rank 3 with just using a buffed straight sword. Hey there, uh, double fists? No, double daggers? Seriously? Don't see that many people rocking that combo. That's pretty interesting. Is he using bleed? Now that's one thing I don't know. Did they make bleed more useful? For this version of the game? 596. Holy shit, Ice Rapier. You are an asshole. I should use it one-handed. Nice, this guy is actually wearing light armor. Which makes it kind of difficult to hit him. Oh, damn. Not, don't have any poise though. So, there's that. Stamina recovery is ridiculously quick. GG. Yeah, as you can see, this Ice Rapier is still as ridiculous as it, as it ever was. Could have thrown out one of those. But I didn't. I always forget. No, I mean, with this thing, I, R1 spamming is the way to go, pretty much. When I really feel bad for using it. This build... I actually tend to use the uh, Dragon Slayer Crescent Axe or whatever it's called. You know what I mean, the Lightning Axe. And that is actually a pretty solid weapon and I like using it. I only have an Ice Rapier because I wanted to have at least one character with a fully upgraded Ice Rapier to see what it's like. And it's pretty much everything I expected it to be. I could use this thing probably to get to rank 3 but I don't wanna. Oh shit, we're on the bridge. Okay. <laughs> Actually, the Ice Rapier should perform very well on the bridge. So we'll see what it what happens here. Hey there. Oh, this guy is not... Hey, he's using the magic thing. Well, I have an Ice Rapier, so... Oh, fuck. That is some lag. That is some lag right there. Oh, he's gonna, like, hit me out of nowhere. GG netcode. Oh, and he done. Yeah, well done. Well done. Wait, wait a second. Do you see how much damage that fucking spell did? God, they didn't buff hexes again, did they? Uh oh. If they did, we might be in trouble. Someone made this comment. I. I don't know who it was. I saw it on a Dark Souls video and ma it made my made me laugh my ass off. It was something like, uh, Honor is a strange way to spell Aura. And I fucking don't remember who said it or what video it was. But yeah, pretty much true. I think without knocking anyone who... Because I know some people 
are very skilled who got to rank three, I would say that probably like a large majority of rank three players are there because they either lag like shit, like this guy, or they found some sort of exploit or cheap tactic. Like I said, without knocking anyone who... Because there are people who are really skilled who are at rank three. But you have to admit that those people are in the minority, unfortunately. Not that it matters because... I mean, this is fucking Dark Souls 2 PvP. I'm just glad that there is an arena that actually works. Instead of like losing your humanity or something. Okay, who's next? I actually talked all the way through that load screen. Who is our next victim? Oh, this guy. Oh, I'm gonna feel bad. This is, it seems like dual daggers still. I get what he's trying to do. He's trying to bleed me. But I don't think that has become very effective. Oh, he's using something different. Oh, the notched whip. Hey there. Dual notched whips. Interesting. You have to be careful of that. Yeah, the whips are a little bit more viable than the du dual daggers, I think. Unfortunately. Let's see. Let's see if I can bait him into. Yeah, you gotta be careful with this guy because he's so fast. Yeah, there we go. Oh shit. He actually bled me. Well done. Never been bled before in PvP, I think. I would be really happy if they made, ma made bleed a little bit more useful. I've always wanted to make a bleed build, but I never got around to it because uh, the equipment is like not good at all. I do actually think I have the re Well done. Do I actually have the notched whip on this character? I should get another one of those. Aesthetic the. Hmm. Could be cool. I do have both the notched whip and the reinforced club. Yeah, maybe maybe I'll get around to that eventually. Anyways, should I wrap up this episode? I've been kind of sucking. I mean, the reason I've been losing is not because of the ice rapier, it's because I suck at PvP. But from what I've seen, this weapon is pretty much the same as it always been. Ridiculously OP. So it seems like this patch changed jack shit in terms of... Wait, I do have a katana on this character as well. Don't I? Oh, it still has the 150 counter. GG from software. GG. Thanks for watching. And I'll see all of you next time. Goodbye.